Hi friends, in this video I'm going to cover file inclusion and uh, this is also one of the most commonly find vulnerabilities in web applications. And uh, what this vulnerability actually is, it allows attackers to include malicious files or uh, to include the local files of the web server to read their sensitive information and uh, this might be as worst as uh, getting remote code execution so we will see in this video how we can uh, use this uh, include module from uh, php to have some fine inclusion vulnerabilities so basically uh, what how this application is working is it is taking a file name from this parameter page so this parameter page this is uh, taking a file name from the user and this file is then included in the PHP script and uh, this function called include function is used at the server side for including the file and uh, this function is used uh, because of uh, it's uh, easiness to include uh, multiple code multiple files in a single php file so that we, we don't need to write the code multiple times that means uh, if you see this application this has this banner common so this banner is included in uh, each of the pages we visit we visit brute force we visit uh, if we visit brute force we also have the same kind of uh, header and this so we don't need to actually write it uh, um, several times so we just uh, include these so that's uh, include function from php and uh, how we can exploit it is uh, if there is no sanitization or no proper validation on the file name we pass we might be able to read uh, local files to the web server or in the worst case we might be able to make the server run our php script hosted at uh, our servers so let's just do it so if i try to include the password file from the server okay just do and uh, okay we got the result so how it worked is uh, i just uh, put in dot dot uh, forward slash and this is used in linux machines for backing one directory up and uh, the best part of uh, this is uh, we actually don't know how far we have to go up to the directory and that's why i included this several times and uh, in linux if i do it it's acceptable and it will go to the root directory if uh, there is no directory to go up so we included the password file from the etc and we got the result similarly we can uh, include other files as well if we try to include shadow we might not get the path uh, we might not get the result and this is because we do not have the permission as it says permission denied so what we can do is uh, we can uh, even try to mm, include some uh, remote files here as well and if we include remote files it is called remote file inclusion and uh, if we include the local files hosted on the server it will called local file inclusion so basically it is of two types and uh, this is the ip address of mine and uh, if I okay if I go to this uh, I got the Apache banner and that means it's allowing me to include the remote files as well so this is the example of remote file inclusion 
so how can we use it to exploit uh, uh, let's see I have a file here called uh, hack.php and this file is a PHP file which uh, simply does is uh, uh, executes this command uh, using this uh, system function so if I include this file here what it will try to do is it will try to do the netcat to my IP address on this port and uh, when it connects it will launch the bash shell so I'll get the shell so if I So if uh, I just uh, configure my netcat to listen on this port 4757 and include the hack.php here, I might be able to get the cell as well. So it's uh, hanging around that means uh, my command is working and I'll get the shell here. And uh, it might get some time but uh, I'll get the shell. So I just need to keep waiting until I get the prompt here. And this is taking a quite long. I don't know why it's taking that long but uh, we are definitely going to have a shell here so we just need to keep waiting unless uh, this uh, circle stops okay we got the shell here so if we try to run commands like ls uh, we are able to run it so if I try to ls etc uh, I get all the files there if I try to run ls home we get two users hacker and temp so we can run any command as we want so that's it for this low level and uh, let's just try to do the same for uh, the high level as well not high actually for the medium level now again we have the same thing so if we try to include the file from our local host so if i try to actually it is wrong okay if i try to include it uh, i get the error no such file or directory and uh, this is because uh, the HTTP part is stripped by the web application that means uh, it is now trying to include this 192.168.14.128 hack.php that means this HTTP part this is uh, stripped by the web applications so uh, we can actually try FTP here we can try other protocols like FTP or we can try to use some cave case sensitive stuff so uh, i make the edge capital so as to see if it is only stripping the http written in small letters or it is doing the case sensitive stripping so again uh, i haven't got the shell and that means uh, this also is a so let's just try this if it works okay it also doesn't work and what else we can try is uh, and it's not working so the HTTP protocol isn't working so we can try something else like HTTPS if it works and it also doesn't work so HTTP isn't working HTTPS isn't working 
what else we can try is uh, up another protocol say FTP so if I try in FTP I might be able to include the file but uh, I'm not running the FTP server actually so I can see if Okay, so I will try with this. And uh, actually, our netcat listener was not listening, that's why it wasn't running. If I try this now, uh, it's hanging up, that means uh, it's running, and we will get the shell soon. So we just need to keep wait until we get the shell. So basically what the application is doing is uh, stripping uh, HTTP and HTTPS. Uh, stripping this HTTP and HTTPS. But uh, the application isn't doing a case sensitive check. That means if we uh, play with the uh, caps so we might be able to bypass this and we may also use other protocols like FTP or SSH or other things but uh, I wasn't running with FTP protocol yet and I, I actually don't have FTP server right now so I can't show you right now so we get the shell uh, we can again run whatever be the command we want and that's completely working we are having two users hacker tam and that's working and one more thing uh, in order to be able to perform or uh, to reproduce the same things results which uh, i'm doing you need to have your uh, php.ini file configured to allow include url that means you have to go to your etc php5 cgi and php.ini file and you have to make it turn on if it is off you just need to make it turn on so that uh, you are able to perform the same thing which i am doing so that's it for this video i hope you like it and uh, Please subscribe to my channel at Maral Ghost.